What's up everyone, Cole Caparoon here. Thanks for stopping by for another video. I'm rocking that sweet quarantine shadow, mm-hmm. So here at my place we are about one week in on a soft quarantine and about four or five days in on a pretty strict only going anywhere for groceries or something that we absolutely need. And uh, we're getting a little stir crazy, not gonna lie. It's, uh, we're ready to go out and do stuff. I definitely cannot wait for this all to be over so I can go get some fantastic barbecue here in Nashville. But with all of us being cooped up in quarantine, there's an interesting thing that's happening. I'm seeing my social media feeds, Facebook and Instagram, just be completely full of music. So many artists putting their music up, playing and singing live on Facebook. There's so much music on my Facebook and Instagram right now and I love it. It's absolutely amazing. It's, it's what should have been all along. And what's even more amazing is there's a lot of artists that are seeing a profound impact on their numbers and people's interest in their music because they're actually putting their music out there on a daily or, or every other day basis. Now for those of you that have been following the channel for any length of time, you know that I preach this social media thing awful hard. And one of my points is that you should build your following based on what it is that you do. So so if you're a singer-songwriter, you should it should be brutally obvious that you're a singer-songwriter by your content. And it's terrible that it took this virus to bring this out of us, but I'm seeing so many people finally get it. I'm seeing so many people post non-stop about their music and that is absolutely amazing to me. So I've been wanting to cover this topic for quite a while now and uh, I try to keep this channel positive. I try to keep things uplifting and I try to keep things spun in a positive uh, direction, a positive viewpoint. So I've kind of held off on this topic but now it just it seems like a perfect time with all that's going on and with the drastic increase in music on social media. So, why no one likes your music posts? Here we go. So the number one reason is because you have built your following based on something other than music. If you're posting modeling photos, if you're posting cat photos, if you're posting photos of your food, whatever it is that you're doing, what you're doing is you're building a following. You're intriguing people to follow you that aren't there to see your music. They're there to see something else besides your music. And what's very difficult about this is it's extremely hard to get those people to convert into music fans because that's not why they started following you to begin with. So reason number one why no one likes your music posts is because you're not constantly posting musical things and haven't built your following based on your music. There's not even really many more ways that I can spin this. People follow you based on what it is that you do. So you post often, post interesting, high quality content that makes people react. And you do that on a consistent basis over time and your following will grow. So that's why it's so important to be continuously posting the things that you're actually trying to promote on social media. You know, it's okay to post a picture of your meal. It's okay to post your headshot. It's okay to post, you know, some modeling photos or whatever, pictures of your kids. Like, it's okay to be a human. It's certainly okay to be a human. What you wanna make sure, in my opinion, that you do is you wanna make sure that 80%, 90% of your content is directly related to what you do musically or at least has some sort of musical relevance. If you want to post a new photo, post it in a studio, post it with your guitar, have a microphone in front of you, like have some sort of musical relevance in it. And I promise you when you do this and, and you post this sort of content that has musical relevance and that is 80 or 90% of the content that you post, I promise your following will, as it grows, the percentage of people that are there to see your music is a much, much higher percentage. Now I completely understand that sometimes it's a lot easier to get traction posting other things. Now, I'm not in any way against whatever anyone wants to post. I'm just simply here talking about how you can get more traction for your music. But I see a lot of uh, singer-songwriters, unfortunately, particularly females, who post a lot of modeling photos, way, way, way more modeling photos than music content. Now, I understand why this is the case, because it is so much easier to get traction, to gain followers as a good-looking, attractive individual 
uh, male or female, than it is maybe singing and playing songs. And so I completely understand why you may do this. The problem, in my opinion, is that a very small percentage of those people are actually even there for your music. And so if you've got 50,000 followers, but only 10% of the people are there for your music, then that means you've only got 5,000 people actually there for your music. As opposed to maybe you had 10,000 people, but 90% of them are there for your music. Now you've got 9,000 people there for your music. And so the percentage of your followers that are there for your music, that will uh, buy tickets to your show, that will buy a t-shirt at your show, that will support you directly in your music career, that percentage is far more important than the overall number of people who you might just happen to be in front of. The other thing that I'm seeing right now, which is so wonderful, is people actually take the time to be creative on social media. They're actually taking their time and do, doing interesting things, creating interesting content, posting interesting things. And that is a real key to this whole thing. You have to be creative. You have to experiment and, and see what people react to, see what your followers react to. Because that's the interesting thing about this, that what, what my followers react to and what your followers, followers react to are more than likely not the same thing. And so you have to experiment over time with what musically relevant content can you post that makes the people that are following you react the hardest, the most comments, the most likes, etc. The interesting thing is it's not just about comments and likes. It's not like, ooh, I got a thousand people to like my photo. What it does, why it's important more than the number, is that the more people that interact with it, the more other people see it. It's a snowball effect. On top of that, the way the algorithm works on just about every platform is the more someone interacts with your content, the more they comment on your photo, the more they like your photo, the more of your content they'll actually see. And so the point is not about getting a bunch of likes and a bunch of comments. The point is setting the algorithm up to show your content to the most number of people possible. And so that is how you get your content in front of large numbers of people. Got to get set up for a session. Yes, I actually have a session coming in. I have stripped all my sessions down to the bare minimum. If you don't need to be here in person, then we're going to fly tracks or do whatever. Um, but I have a vocal session today, and so it's time to get set up for that. All right, so I'm tracking vocals today for a band called Beyond Here. Today I'm using my Brawner Panthera. Oh, yes. It's a wonderful sounding microphone, has a lot of wonderful airy top end. And so I love this microphone a lot. For anyone with a higher voice, it sounds fantastic. So from there, we'll be going into the Cappy VP28 Platinum. And then from there, we'll be going into the TubeTech LCA2B. So that is the setup for today. And uh, they should be here any minute and we'll get this vocal session knocked out. Here we go. All right, vocal session is done. So now uh, I have to disinfect everything because I'm trying to do my part and when someone comes over for the session, in the rare occasion that they do, I feel like it's my job to clean up after myself, so. Now that the disinfecting is done, I gotta do a mix revision. So let's get that done. So you can live your life. So you can live your life. Switch it up your morning if you want to. Change it all. 
All right, mix revision done. Now it's time to play some guitar on a song. All right, take a break from recording guitar real quick because, oh my God, it's so, I think it's nice enough to open the windows. I think it's nice enough. So latest news in terms of the corona, apparently uh, the Olympics have been canceled postponed till next year. So that's pretty serious when they're canceling the Olympics, which we kind of all saw that coming. Um, and then I just read a report that China is at the beginning of another spike of, of illnesses. And it's just very hard to know, to, to be informed. It's really hard to stay up to date on what's happening and to know exactly what to believe and what not to believe because ev there's conflicting information everywhere, all over the news, all over the internet everything contradicts itself and it, it's impossible to actually know what's happening. So I guess just more of the same, lots of washing my hands, lots of hand sanitizer. So I'm formally moving to every non-essential session uh, will be done remotely. If someone doesn't actually need to be here in person, then, then we'll fly tracks or we'll do whatever we can otherwise. Just clamping down a little bit tighter. Again, like I've said in previous videos, I'm not worried about me getting it. I'm not worried about my wife or my kid getting it necessarily. We'll be fine. Uh, I'm just trying to do my part to, to clamp down on the spread of this thing. So we're only leaving the house to go get groceries and, and whatever supplies we actually need um, and walk the dog. You know, we'll go outside. We were hanging out in the backyard. I mowed the grass. Like I'm fine here in my own piece of property. What else can we really do? Keep making music. I mean, like I talked about in the beginning of this video, it's the perfect opportunity to, to be creating social media content. Well, that's a wrap for the day. Got some good guitars tracked. Uh, had a vocal session, went great, turned in a production for final approval before I start mixing, and the client thought it was already mixed. That's got to be one of my favorite things ever is, is when I turn in a rough, uh, a final rough, and the client thinks it's mixed already and gives me mixed notes. So uh, it's a, it was a good day. Oh, for any of you that are curious about my chain for the guitar work, here is what I was using. First up, we have the beautiful iconic guitar, as you guys have all seen before. Then from there, we're going straight into a Lauren Audio Spitfire Overdrive pedal. It's one of my all-time favorite overdrive pedals. From that, we are moving over into the Wampler Ego pedal, the compressor. Yes, I'm running my uh, overdrive into the compressor. It's one of the tricks I use to get a creamy, smooth tone for, for lead work. And then from there, we are going into the third power, uh, the Citizen Gain CSR40. From there, going into the ISOCAB back there, uh, which has a Weber Legacy speaker in it and a Royer R121 along with a Biodynamic M201. I did an entire video on this ISOCAB that you can check out. And then from there into a pair of Coil Audio CA70S mic pre's wonderful tube mic prees and that was the chain and that is it for today thank you guys so much for sticking around all the way to the end don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon next to the subscribe tab and give me a thumbs up on this one drop me a comment below don't forget to hit me up on instagram at cole Caparoon and my website colecaparoon.com and don't forget to hit me up on facebook if that's your thing i'm going to put links to all of this stuff everything that i use always in the description of this video so if you're interested in checking more out you can do so. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.